looking at the compound. This stuff's starting to really build up over here. Yep. That peanut butter jar. Well, I didn't get much done today. And, uh, so far, so today is kind of a loss. Pretty much. Oh, look at that. No wonder it's hard to move. There was some Christmas lights stuck to it. I did pretty good yesterday without even trying. But today, I had to take my kid to court. And, uh, yeah, that really set me back. So I had to take him to court for his DUI that we've been diddling around with for like two years. Two years ago, Good Friday, he got nailed for uh, drunk driving. And uh, we're still playing with that. We're still playing with that. Should have been over with like 20 months ago. Kind of feel like it's been turned into a cottage industry. You know what I mean? Not fair. What do I have all the cans? Oh, yeah, I got all the cans in that one over there. This time of year, there's so much stuff out there, it should be no problem to make a $1,000 a week. I should, you know what I mean? I shouldn't even have to... Without trying... Without even trying... I should be able to make that kind of money. And, uh... I'm struggling to make that kind of money. No, I, I don't do Duncan. That's uh, something Tucker Upper does. Him and Sammy, they do that. I wonder if he. Wonder if he gets any haters on that. You know what I mean? Like the way I do when people see the fast food wrappers and stuff. Does that guy delete all the negative comments and stuff? What should you do? As a YouTuber, what should you do with the negative comments? Should you just keep them on there or should you should you remove them? McDonald's cup. No, I don't drink pop. So, that's definitely not mine. There's a garbage bag in here. There's a garbage can out. I don't drink pop. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. None of that stuff. I used to drink pop. Okay, but over the holidays, I just decided, you know, because so many people are like, oh, that stuff's bad for me. Oh, that stuff's bad for me. Oh, that stuff's horrible for me. Oh. So I've gotten so many comments like, drinking pop is bad for you. I decided, you know what? And I am getting so many comments as bad that I'm going to take people up on that. I'm going to not drink pop. 
and I'm gonna see if people are like, oh, you'll feel better, you'll feel better, you'll feel better, you'll feel better. I don't feel any different. I don't feel any better, I don't feel, like, actually, if anything, I feel, I feel more sluggish. I feel like, I don't know, like I'm moving slower or something. I don't have that caffeine high, I don't got that caffeine buzz going on. Then you get other people commenting that. McDonald's, it's like, it's a criminal offense on YouTube or on social media to show such stuff like that. I, I think in social media, I think the people, most of the people watching are kind of left wing, like anti-corporation, anti-big business, because, uh, the strategy there is to go after the big dog. You don't hear like anti Burger King people or anti Wendy's. Then, you know, when it comes down to them, then it's just anti fast food. They go after the big guy. That's an old commie strategy. You go after the big guy and you can take them all down. Like, you don't hear people going after Target. You hear people going, after, you know, ridiculing Walmart. Like, if you're in a union, you don't boycott. Like, there's a union boycott that's been going on forever of Walmart, but not of Target. Okay, and Walmart is targeted because there's no union. Well, you know what? There's no union at Target either. So what gives? All right. If anything, if anything, or uh, why did I bring this in? If anything, uh, Walmart pays better than Target. But that don't matter to the to the left wing. I was going to plug that in, and now I'm not. I was going to plug that in and see if it works. But lazy, you're hard working. I'm too lazy to go and move stuff around to go reach that outlet. But I was really curious to go and see if that thing worked. So what should I do? If you're, if you're me, if you're lazy, but you're hard working. I got like 20,000 other things in my mind. Like I have to get my kid from school. Use two hands. Yeah. How do you make a video? Man, that, that Cook County, they don't, they don't play around. That's, that's nothing more than a gigantic prison industrial complex. That, that court system, the whole thing. It's all, it's all designed to, that, that courthouse, first of all, I think Cook County's got what, six or seven court districts? And each one is huge. There's so many, uh, a hazmat situation on the north side has been secured. So many offenders. Police responded to reports. Are there batteries in here? A lot of times there's no batteries in these things. In the Lakeview uh, neighborhood, a female suspect had walked well, out the flat envelope on the counter, walked out. The envelope had the words, notify the FBI, written on Let's it. Let's see if this goes. Oh, the there you go. Look at that. The package said to be secured just after 12. Is a computer or is it a TV? A third man has been charged with murder. Let's turn this down, so. Chicago police officer John Rivera last month. Say 22 year old Washington was charged with one felony count of first degree murder and three felony counts of Look at that. Select language. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know how to operate this. 
What happened to the TV is they just had like a, a knob on off, on off, volume. Yeah. You have to like know what you're doing. Select language. I don't even know how. Is it a touch screen? <laughs> Are there buttons out here? There's no buttons. Let's just start put pushing buttons wherever they are. Oh, that scared me. Scanning. I don't know. Yeah, let's push this red button. Oh. There you go. It appears to work somewhat. I don't know. Who knows? I'll, I'll have to. I have to look at this controller. I'm afraid if I take it away from the TV, it will it'll be lost forever. But. Right? Look, this is what I understand. This kind of TV. Just pull the knob in or out, on or off. Change the channels. <laughs> Good old fashioned analog, that's what I understand. On or off, okay. All this other crap. Alright kids, tell me where I tell me where I put the remote control. <laughs> I'll, be look, I'll be looking for it later. I know I won't know where it went. Part of the problem that I have is when you know that there's a thousand dollars or more on the streets every week, uh, it's kind of hard to concentrate on taking care of everything else. So well, why aren't you out there? Because I have all these other obligations. I have to get my child from school. I have to take her to school. I have to take my kid around, take care of this legal obligations okay what happened to my my big car keys okay here they are here in that bag oh look at all the mcdonald's wrappers these are only a dollar like people hate it I, i'm intrigued by it it actually fascinates me Look at that sawzall that I got in the mail. It's still not sitting in the. It's not sitting in a bucket of water. I think I got a couple of hater comments that. Oh, cruiser Max, that thing will be sitting in a bucket of water. Okay. It ain't. Not a piece of junk. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. No, I don't eat Popeyes. That's somebody else. Some other family character. You could be saving money now. Yeah, I guess you could. You know what I mean? Fast food. You know. There's arguments both ways. If you go to Burger King and get the Whopper, there's two Whoppers for $6. That's kind of expensive. So you get the three McChickens from McDonald's. 
That's a buck each. That's only three bucks plus tax. Okay. To eat din din for three dollars, if you buy food at the store, it's going to cost you more for the mixins and the ingredients and the time slaving over the stove and the maintenance of the stove and the fuel to operate the stove and then the, the water that, that it takes to wash the dishes and then the energy it takes to heat that water up and then the sanitation expense you know like you know for sewage to, from the wastewater that you're generating so the masters of the universe they have this stuff figured out man that's i'm not joking Is it any more healthier? Uh, you know, yeah, you can cook, and then it takes energy to cook. It takes time to cook. It takes equipment to cook. It takes somebody with patience to cook. I have no patience. No patience whatsoever. Not for that stuff. I don't smoke, and I don't drink. So, there's an even trade-off. Alright, enough of that bullcrap. Constantly defending myself.